Welcome, collectors and heavy equipment enthusiasts. We are back with the bread and butter of this channel, reviewing die-cast Caterpillar models. In this video, we're going to be checking out the brand new for 2021 Diecast Masters Highline Series Caterpillar 657G Wheel Tractor Scraper in the exclusive to Diecast Masters 1 to 1 25th scale. Now, for those that may not be familiar, the whole idea with this new scale, 1 to 125, a few years ago, Diecast Masters wanted to take some of the largest pieces of Caterpillar equipment and put them in a small enough scale to be displayed on people's desks so that they can have, again, the largest pieces of cat equipment in a small enough scale and a reasonable enough scale that you can display multiple different pieces of cat equipment right in front of you. So now we have one of the largest scrapers to add to that growing list of models. So we take a look at the outer shipping box first. Here you'll see that the outer number is 85542. With the help of a knife, we cut one end. That leaves us with the tin and the bag that protects it. With that out of the way, that gives us a good look at the high quality finish that's on the tin. There's a picture of the model, once again, 1 to 125 scale. These are adult collector scale models. They are not intended for individuals under the age of 14. The top of the tin, or the lid, has a picture of an older generation Cat 657G at work with its bowl full of dirt. At the back, we have another picture of a older 657G. And our machine specifications can also be found, including the overall length with the bail extended, overall width, overall height, and the operational specifications, which include the total weight empty, rated payload, scraper bowl capacity, and the top speed loaded, which is 33 miles per hour. All right, let's begin the full unboxing process by popping our lid. You will find, as with all Diecast Masters cat models, the full line of their products in their scale model replicas catalog. Now, this is the 2020 edition. We have not yet seen, to date, the 2021 edition. But inside, you'll see most of the models that are in their catalog and in their CAT lineup. You'll find everything from the Evolution Series models to other models in the 1 to 125 series and, of course, the Core Classics. See, you'll find two finger holes, which you can carefully put your fingers in to grab the top piece of foam rubber. The bottom holds the model. Be very careful what you grab onto because this is a very detailed model and very tiny. You wouldn't want to grab onto something small. Take it out. There's an additional piece of packaging inside the bowl of the scraper, so we'll remove that. Let's take a short break. When we come back, we will begin in great detail the model review so don't go anywhere we'll be right back after this short break welcome back everyone and thank you so much for sticking with me so let's start out with the details that are on this model you can see in 1 to 125 scale it's very small so you may have some difficulty seeing this but we'll do the very best that we can we'll start off at the front of the scraper this is set up in what's known as a push-pull configuration now i'm aware that most of you know well and good what the push-pull mechanism is but for those that may be new that may not know a very quick synopsis it was a procedure that cat developed to more quickly load multiple scrapers so you have the front portion right here that would hook on to the back of an additional scraper and it would help pull along the first scraper so once he is full and has his bowl completely full he would then use his horsepower to pull along the trailing scraper and help him fill his bowl effectively quickly more efficient and you could move more material at a more efficient speed which of course at the end of the day results in faster cycle times other details include your hydraulic cylinders your 657g decals you have some accurate to scale hand and grab rails 
your exhaust, your air cleaner. Here's the back portion of the push-pull setup. Your wheels have accurately detailed lugs underneath the scraper. You can see the Diecast Master's name as well as the scale and a model number. And you can also see the ejection portion of the scraper bowl. Finally, you'll see the details on the tread pattern on the tires. All right, let's turn our attention now to the functionality associated with this model. Right now, the scraper bowl is in a raised or a carry position. And as you can see, the wheels do roll, which allow your scraper to move. Scrapers turn by an articulated gooseneck mechanism, and you can see that works very well here. And it can achieve a relatively sharp angle despite its small scale and small size. If you want to lower the scraper bowl, you can do that by pushing down, and it goes down far enough where it will touch the bottom of the table. You can also lift up the front part of the scraper or the apron. That also raises to a pretty decent degree, so that helps the material come out of the scraper. There is not a molded or a working ejector mechanism that has been casted in because a lot of compromises have to be made when you're dealing with a casting that is this small. Another detail that I would like to point out is the additional guarding on a scraper this large. So even a model this small, really very, very little shortcuts, if any, were taken. And you really do, honestly, get an impressive product at such a small scale. So that will conclude my review of the Diecast Masters 1 to 1 25th scale CAT 657G wheel tractor scraper. We all know full and well the issues with the models in 1 to 1 25th scale. We know that they cater to a very, very, very specific group of collectors and a unique demographic. And most all of us would rather have these models in HO or 1 to 87 scale. That being said, with new additions added to this collection of models in 1 to 1 25th scale, it's not out of the realm of possibility that you can build up an entire collection of cat machines, some of the largest cat machines in this scale, and have them at your desk at work or in a small display case, which makes it a very, very manageable collection to have due to the model's small size. Until next time. I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so much for watching. If you look at the screen right now, you will see a suggested link for other models that are in the Diecast Masters 1 to 1 25th scale. So if you like this model, be sure to check out those videos as well. Take care and be safe. I'll catch you in the next review.